The F-16 Fighting Falcon is hailed as one of the most accomplished and versatile multi-role jet fighters ever crafted. At present, there are around 3,000 F-16s actively serving in 25 different countries. This stands as a testament to the enduring appeal and effectiveness of the aircraft. Despite its debut in the 1970s, the fourth generation F-16 remains robust and is anticipated to remain in operation for many more years. Its ability to adapt and its versatility have allowed it to stay pertinent in a constantly changing global security landscape, and it continues to play a pivotal role in numerous Air Force's operations. Since its introduction in 1979, this warbird has undergone rigorous testing in over 400,000 combat sorties, accumulating a combined 19 million flight hours. Its exceptional performance and versatility have established it as the backbone of Air Force operations worldwide. One of the key strengths of the F-16 lies in its speed and agility, making it a formidable contender in air-to-air -air combat scenarios. Yet, it's not only a top performer in its category, it also represents one of the most cost-effective options available. The F-16 boasts a unique cockpit design, affording the pilot exceptional visibility. Its single-piece, bird-resistant polycarbonate bubble canopy offers a full 360-degree view, with a 40-degree downward angle on the sides and 15 degrees downward over the nose. The pilot's seat is elevated for this purpose. Furthermore, the F-16's canopy lacks the forward bow frame found on many fighters, which can obstruct a pilot's forward vision. The nimble F-16 Fighting Falcon is the most prolific jet in military service today, showcasing an outstanding combat record. However, to maintain its edge in a world where stealth fighters long-range missiles and newer 4.5 generation fighters with more powerful sensors are proliferating. The 40-year-old single-engine fighter, slated to serve in the U.S. military through 2048, will need to evolve. A significant stride in this evolution took place on January 9, when a facility in Baltimore completed the installation of powerful new ANAPG-83 scalable agile beam radars in the nose canes of 72 National Guard F-16s and Ds. The uh, PG-83 is 85% based on the uh, PG-81 radar found in brand new F-35 stealth fighters, but scaled down for affordability and compatibility with the F-16. The latest iteration of the Fighting Falcon is powered by a single engine, either the General Electric F-110 GE-129 or the Pratt & Whitney F-100 PW-229. Highly agile, the F-16 was the first fighter aircraft purpose-built to withstand 9G maneuvers and can attain a maximum speed of overmatch 2. The F-16 Fighting Falcon is a remarkably versatile fighter jet with a wide array of weapon capabilities. Its nine hardpoints allow for flexibility in various mission requirements, including air-to-air -air and air-to-surface operations. For air-to-air -air encounters, the F-16 can deploy an array of missiles, including AIM-9 Sidewinder, AIM-120 Amram, uh, IM-7 Sparrow, Raphael Python, and the AIM-9X Sidewinder, which is a new generation missile with enhanced short-range engagement capabilities. For air-to-surface missions, the F-16 can carry a GM-65 Maverick, a GM-88 HARM, a GM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile, and a GM-154 joint standoff weapon, as well as anti-ship missiles like the AGM-84 Harpoon and uh, GM-119 Penguin. Additionally, the F-16 can be equipped with a wide range of bombs, including CBU-87, CBU-89, CBU-97, general purpose bombs, GBU-39 small diameter bomb, Pavway series of laser-guided bombs, JDAMs, and nuclear bombs. The F-16 also features a 20M General Electric M6101 multi-barrel cannon situated on the left side of the fuselage with a firing rate of approximately 6,000 rounds per minute. This cannon is utilized for close-range engagements and is typically a last resort option when other weapons are unavailable. F-16 models are categorized by ascending block numbers to denote upgrades covering both single and two-seat versions. Over the years, various software, hardware, systems, weapons compatibility, and structural enhancements have been introduced to gradually upgrade production models and retrofit delivered aircraft. Aside from the block designs, there are several other variants of the F-16 that have undergone significant changes due to modification programs. Some variants have been specialized for specific roles. 
such as close air support and reconnaissance. Additionally, various models were created for testing new technologies. The F-16A or B marks the initial production version of the F-16 Fighting Falcon, entering service with the U.S. Air Force in 1979. It is the most numerous of all F-16 variants, with 475 produced. These fighter jet variants began production in 1984. The first C or D version was the Block 25, featuring improved cockpit avionics and radar, which introduced all-weather capability with beyond visual range AIM-7 and AIM-120 air air missiles. The F-16E or F are advanced variants of the F-16 Fighting Falcon based on the F-16 C or D Block 5052. The aircraft incorporates numerous enhancements over the standard F-16, including conformal fuel tanks for extended range and a PG-80 ASA radar system and advanced avionics and weapon systems. The initial F-16E or F was delivered to the United Arab Emirates in 2004, and the aircraft remains in service today. The F-16IN Super Viper was a proposed variant of the F-16 Fighting Falcon aircraft designed by Lockheed Martin for the Indian Air Force. It was part of a competition to replace the aging MiG-21 fighters in service at the time. The F-16IN was based on the F-16E or F Block 60 variant and featured several modifications tailored to the Indian Air Force's requirements including conformal fuel tanks, a larger airframe, and an active electronically scanned array radar system. However, the Indian government ultimately decided to not proceed with the F-16IN and instead opted to acquire the French-made Dassault Rafale as their new fighter aircraft. The F-16IQ is a variant of the F-16 Fighting Falcon specifically developed for the Iraqi Air Force. The aircraft is based on the F-16 C or D Block 52 Plus model and incorporates various upgrades and modifications to suit the needs of the Iraqi military. The F-16 IQ was first delivered to the Iraqi Air Force in 2014 and has since been deployed in various combat operations against terrorist groups such as ISIS. The aircraft has proven to be a valuable asset to the Iraqi military, significantly enhancing their air combat capabilities. The F-16N was an adversary aircraft operated by the United States Navy. It is based on the standard F-16C or D Block 30, powered by the General Electric F-110GE 100 engine, and is capable of supercruise. The F-16 was utilized by the Navy's Top Gun training program and was also leased to other countries for training purposes. The last aircraft was retired from service in 2018. The Lockheed Martin F-16V stands as the latest and most advanced version of the F-16 currently available. It was first unveiled at the Singapore Air Show in February 2012. The Viper configuration is offered as a new production aircraft, while a components upgrade is also available for existing F-16 versions. The F-16V has been in service since 2017 with several countries, including Taiwan, Bahrain, and Slovakia, adopting the upgraded variant into their air forces. The QF-16 represents a substantial modification to the F-16 Fighting Falcon, transforming it into an unmanned aerial target drone. The QF-16 program was initiated by the United States Air Force to replace its aging fleet of QF-4 target drones, which were themselves modified to four Phantom II aircraft. While the QF-16 retains many of the same avionics and weapon systems as its predecessor, it has been equipped with additional technology for remote control and telemetry. The drone can be easily operated from a ground station and is primarily utilized as a target for training and testing various weapon systems. The QF-16 program has been in service since 2014 and has been extensively used for training and testing by the U.S. Air Force and other military organizations.